Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the custom search functionality of the Twitterbot software. In our previous tutorial, we showed you how to use the default search drop down to specify some default searches. If you would like to build a custom search or use more advanced searches, click custom search. And here on the left, you'll see all the potential searches you can use. However, that is only half the power of the custom search. Let's say we wanted to search for the followers of a specified account. We can then use the results of this search for our action. So as we are on the follow tab, if we performed a followers of search, we would search the specified account for their followers and then follow those results. However, we can feed them into another step for the search. So, tweet. Now, what we are doing, we will be searching for the followers of a specified account for each of those results. So, for each account following, we will then scrape their user tweets, the tweets that they have posted. So, Please note that this search will not work. That is because a user tweet search, the tweets of a user, will return tweets. And as we are on the follow tab, you can't follow tweets. So if you look here, the search we selected, user tweets, takes an input, input a user, meaning you can only use this search, the tweets of a user, if you provide a user. And the output of this search is going to be a tweet. So for a follow action, we need to make sure our end step, the last step in our search, would output users, output profiles. So what we can do here is end up with interaction. Now interaction is a user who the tweet, someone who has interacted with the tweet. So now our search is search for the followers of a specified account. For each follower, scrape their tweets, and from each tweet, scrape the likers, um, the retweeters, anyone who has interacted with that tweet. Now the final aspect of this search is we can tell the program how many results we want from each step. Let's say we want to follow 100 accounts. We are going to get very different results if we scrape one follower, scrape 100 tweets of that one follower, and scrape one interaction from each of those tweets. Compare that to scraping 100 followers, scraping one tweet, and scraping one interaction from that tweet. Likewise, you can scrape 10 followers, scrape 10 tweets from each follower, and then scrape one interaction from the tweet, or anything in between. Now, if you do not specify exactly what results you want, the program will set the results per step in a manner as to meet your max items in as little requests as possible. So if you want to tell the program what you want to do, then we can specify we want 100 followers, we want only one tweet from each follower, and we are happy to have 10 interactions from each tweet. Now for those of you more mathematically minded, you will notice with 100 followers and, 100, and one tweet of each will give us 100 tweets, and with 10 interactions, 100 tweets will have a maximum result set of a thousand. We have done it like this and it's best to always overshoot because if we are scraping one tweet from each follower, that tweet might not have any interactions. So of the 100 tweets we scraped, one from each follower, if 50 do not have any tweets and we only wanted one interaction, we would end up with 50 as a max result. So by specifying 10, it will just ensure 
that we will definitely meet our target of 100. So that is how you would build a custom search. So let's build it as it is. Let's specify the profile. Let's do follow user scrape. Tempted of you will notice we go into scrape our own followers and see how it all goes. Follow, follow cursor has been created. So there we go. We now scraping our followers. As you can see, my test account only has six. So we couldn't meet the requested 100. So we're now going to be scraping one tweet from the user feed of each of the followers. Now we're scraping the interactions. And it'd be nice if we have 10 interactions from that one. Then we'll move on to the next follower. And now we've got the next tweet. And now we're scraping interactions from that tweet and so on and so forth. This will run through all 63 followers, pulling their most recent tweets and then pulling a maximum of 10 interactions for each before we proceed to follow them. Ah, here you can see that we tried to scrape the interactions, but we only managed to get six before the scrape stopped with any more items. So that is how you can use the powerful custom search to really dig down into searches and find results to power your actions. If you have any questions on this tutorial, please come to the forum, rootjazz.com slash forum. Please post up any questions you may have regarding this tutorial on follow functionality, custom search, and any other questions you may have.